Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's battle Steve. There's a stone statue here with an inscription Ghost Master Warren, sealed trainer deck. Yep. <laughs> Are you challenging me? You've got guts, kid. And thus we head to the table. The name's Warren. You won't beat me easily. Let's go. Six prize cards. Our fight will be to six prize cards. You just said that. You won't feel so hot when you feel my sweeled trainer deck. Well, I do have my energy removal, so we'll see about that. <laughs> and we are off to the ultimate battle, because you see... You know how I mentioned my energy removal? Well, he he's, he's focused on a critter known as Dark Vile Plume. And that prevents me from using trainer cards, as well as himself, but primarily it's to prevent me from using trainer cards, because his deck doesn't have that many trainer cards. So it could be a pretty nice uphill battle here. <laughs> Actually, I don't know, it should be should be decent. So that frightened prevent me from using, yeah. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and do that, and do a little bit of a headbutt. Um, to that ghastly and call it a turn. Oh, I forgot the check what he had on the bench. Well, anyway, let's see if he causes confusion. He does, unfortunately for my poor seal. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, I should check here. So yeah, he's got that version of ghastly <laughs> oddish. So yeah, that's going for the dark vile plume. And okay, so he's got that stuff, and now. So that's, that's kind of the thing here, is that he can prevent you from using trainer cards, but when he has to attack me eventually, then it, it kind of goes out the window. <laughs> so that Dark Vile Puma ends up being the ace as a result of that. Uh, let's go Lapras, Seal, fill up everything basically. Uh, I wonder if I should actually let my Seal go down or... And just, you know, switch into something else. Um, at the very least, I want a Professor Oak. And yeah, I'll be discarding the Dragonair. That's not that not too big of a deal, per se. Um, hmm, Dugong. I see. I see. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think at a certain point when he gets the Dark Vile Plume out, it'll just be a battle of Pokemon versus Pokemon. So we gotta get our arsenal all set up nice and pretty, and yeah, I got the other Dragonair, as you've seen there. Uh, I guess I should get that set up in general. I think I'll hold on to the Staryu, though, so I can always play that. And I guess I'll try a headbutt, see what I get out of that. Oh! All I get is a big, fat confusion damage of 20. <laughs> and the darkness comes once again, but it really is can't do any more confusion, so it's, it's mainly just going to do 10 damage regardless of the coin flip. Uh, you know, I wonder if I shouldn't go ahead and just dump everything out, you know? Just, just get my whole arsenal up to speed, you know what I mean? And get a Professor Oak going and everything like that. Um, I think I probably should. Yeah, I won't even put anything on the bench at the moment, because I might get a Jiggly, and I might want to keep that space open. In case of Wiggly, there's the Jiggly. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to look at the other stuff in my hand first, but now nah, I'll, I'll just immediately play it. Energy removal, that. Um, should I bother attacking with Seal? I mean, I can't play any more energy cards, and, but then again, you might actually get a hit on something else. I'll just call it a turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just try and get stuff going off on the side here. Oh, here it comes. Uh, Dark Bloom, when it evolves, it may cause confusion with the Pollen Stench. Dun 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 dun. But it may also cause confusion to the Ghastly, but he decided not to use that because I already got a confused seal, which is probably the wise choice there because it's going to kind of kind of potentially hit the seal for no good reason. Um. Uh, let's go Dugong, I suppose, and call it a turn. Yeah, I think that was, you know, using those two hits as a, tur uh, pfft, 
as a turnstall was pretty wise. Yeah, Hay Fever, this is the ace that locks down the trainer's deck as implied by its name. So now no more trainer cards, that's why I was getting everything out that I could at the moment in time. And I would say that I am in pretty good shape as a result of that. Uh, what should I go for though next? Probably Lapras, I would say. Because I can do a Confuser on my own. So let's go for that. Oh! <laughs> well, there's always a chance he won't be able to confuse my Lapras, so... Eh, we'll see. 24 turns for the deck to go with only 6 prize cards. So I could go pretty quick once I get something, something going here. Because he doesn't have that much power on his side, per se. I mean, yeah, he's potentially getting... Yeah, but I, I don't really see... Petal Whirlwind being that threatening. I mean, it could do 60, but, it, you'll, but it's probably going to do, like, I mean, 30 to 60, I should say, but yeah, it's not probably not going to do the maximum, I mean. And I'm going to go Water Gun this time, because it'll just outright knock out Ghastly. I only used the Confusory last turn, because I couldn't knock out the Ghastly with Lapras, so... There we go. And the darkness, it comes again, but it is... Ineffective. Well, kind of. I mean, it did some damage, but <laughs> um, I'm thinking I should put pressure on him <laughs> because he, yeah, he's only got that in the dark vile plume. I want to force him to put out the dark vile plume so I can cause some damage to it uh, before he puts some other basic on the field. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and Aurora Beam that bad boy. And grab another prize card. I told you they could go fast. <laughs> uh, I got nothing, huh? Alright. Can I do 60 damage with something? Now, maybe if I had a Wigglytuff, that would be pretty nice. But I can't Pokemon Trader into the Wigglytuff because... Well... Yeah, Hay Fever. So... <laughs> let's just go for the Aurora Beam. Get as much damage into the Vile Plume as possible. And call it a turn. Wow. Oof. Just kind of feel bad for him. <laughs> I don't know if I should rebattle him. Because things things can go pretty south with this deck, and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I win, though. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I guess I could... I don't know. Dang it all! In the end, I lost. I guess it was inevitable. Here, take this booster back. Present booster pack. Yeah, see, even, even without trainer cards, I could still do all sorts of effects with my Pokemon in general, so it has outs even when I can't use energy removal and stuff like that. Okay. Mark my words, kid. I won't be defeated next time. Bye! <laughs> and he's gone. So I, I guess, I don't know, I can get some triangle returners. <laughs> Same dialogue as before. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the seal of the trainer. Oh, that was a different dialogue. I'm gonna break out a sealed trainer deck once again. <laughs> All right. So I, I guess there's actually repeat dial. I mean, uh, more dialogue on a repeat visit. Then. Alright. Well, what do we have here? Um, I probably should go star you. Lapras is back up. Seal is back up. Tratini is back up. And hopefully I'll be able to use uh, the bill at the very least, or at least get some sort of energy card. And thank you for letting me go first. Yeah, I, I don't think his deck really worked to its full potential, so I don't know if that was really... As, as I guess you could say, as fair as, as it would be to show you a proper game versus him, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, maybe his deck just tends to get bad luck in it. I don't know, maybe not. That Professor Oak... Yeah, he's got a bunch of those, so... Uh, it's Bill's teleporter as well, but anyway. So yeah, I think he's got like only 12 trainer cards in total because you know his strategy is to lock down the trainer cards and then try and sweep me with stuff. Hello there, Wiggly. Um, I'm definitely gonna do this. Uh, do I want to discard the Wiggly just to get more cards? Probably because I know his strategy. So I think I'm gonna go... Go for the Dugong again. And... Maybe I'll put the Seal on there in case I get another Wigglytuff, because it's still plenty open bench spots. 
Let's see here, alright, got more energy removal. Doesn't necessarily mean I'll be able to use it, because I could use Frighten and all those other effects to prevent me from doing so, but yeah, nothing really else that I can do here other than put Dratini, but uh, I don't, no, I don't really want to, I want to keep the spot open, you know, you know, <laughs> so, I mean, it take a whole lot to knock out my current arsenal, ooh, um, that Haunter, because he's going to force me to hold a bunch of trainer cards in my hand, aha, uh -huh, that could potentially do a lot of damage for just one energy card. That's another part of his strategy there, but uh, I'll see if that comes to pass. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking here. <laughs> I probably should do that at the very least. I got another Lapras on the side, so I'm fine in that regard. And another Dratini, so maybe... maybe. <laughs> probably should Professor Oak. Just to try and get a little bit ahead like I did before, and yeah, that's... Oh yeah, that, that's that's looking pretty nice there. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I, I... My deck just... Maybe, it may just be too powerful for these guys. <laughs> oh no. Alright, he's preventing me from using trainer cards, but... At this point, I think it's a big whoop situation. <laughs> I mean, you might start Haunter Poltergeisting me, but I don't have that many trainer cards in general, and then I'll just start Aurora beaming it into Oblivion. Uh, super energy removal. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be able to knock out my Staryu, but... Uh, well, <laughs> that should be alright. Staryu has done quite well, I would say. Wait, 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 wait you didn't put out the Haunter? I was sure he was going to try and Poltergeist. Maybe he just wants to keep preventing me from using trainer cards. Uh, well... Hmm... At the very least, I'll save, because I have the turns to do so, I'll save the double colorless for something that I can uh, power up very quickly with it, like say a Wigglytuff or, or whatever. So yeah, since I don't really need to pump up Dragonair that quickly, I should be alright in that regard. Um, I wonder if I should go for another Dragonair, that <laughs> Would that be overkill? It may be overkill. <laughs> oh, here we go! <laughs> uh, we'll see, I don't know, I, I might be underestimating my opponent here. May have given him one chance too many and he's just gonna end up sweeping me. <laughs> and Dratini... Dragonair number two, and slap to finish off the Psyduck. So, what he might actually be doing is building up trainer cards in my hand, and then he's gonna put out Haunter. Or not. <laughs> or maybe his Haunter is gonna be like the last last resort for the, the sweep of sorts. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't see as much of a sweep coming since Haunter's only got 70 HP, and I've got this arsenal of death on my side. <laughs> as a matter of fact to do that and save the double colorless for uh, the Dragonair and call it a turn. Uh-huh, you just you keep you keep causing me a headache. I, I can take it. <laughs> um mm, I guess I'll go Lapras with that one. And slap away. Call it the turn. Oh he's not looking too happy with this. Yeah I, I think my deck is just too powerful. <laughs> Unless he's able to get, you know, more established, like, quicker, like using that Dark Vile Plume, and I said like 50 times in that single sentence, but... <laughs> yeah, unless he's able to get established with stuff, I don't really see that being... Yeah, anyway, he's gonna do 30 damage to the Staryu, so he wasn't even able to pull off a KO on the Staryu outright. So I can slap and then finish off with the Aurora, but I could even, <laughs> I could even Professor Oak too. Um, or Pokemon, well, like, because the way that he, uh, the way he's set up here, <laughs> since he didn't use any sort of way to stop me from playing trainer cards, I can now do the dirty work here. Um, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually, uh, 
running out of options for ways to dominate him at this point. I mean, everything's filled up with powerhouses. <laughs> and Pokemon Trader, probably for a, uh, yeah. I was, I was gonna say some sort of basic Pokemon. But, yeah, I was like, eh. He's gonna, he's gonna have trouble with that Poltergeist. Yeah, he's gonna do 40 now, but I mean... That Poltergeist is kind of another ace attack because of all the trainer cards he would normally force me to hoard, but... Not now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really see... Any reason to really keep these things around, then. If I'm just gonna... Squander them, so I should probably Professor Oak. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Put that on Dragonair. <laughs> and then Professor Oak. Yeah, I'm not gonna Pokemon trade into everything, cause anything, because everything I've got on the field is... Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I was... <laughs> oh, I got the Wigglytuff. That's... That's probably the end of them there. <laughs> uh, let's go Bill as well. Mm -hmm. Let's just go Aurora Beam now. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. It's, just, it's not your day, is it? And Oddish is out, and it may, may be able to pull something off or not. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, that's why I said may, because he's, he's got like all psychic energy, and I said like again. <laughs> but yeah, it requires grass. He really wanted to prevent me from using trainer cards, I see. But alas, alas, it is far, far too late. Or victory is mine. So yeah, I gave up two shots. <laughs> All right, that is my victory. Let's go over to the fourth duelist. Thank you all. The end. I lost. Get never only attack this booster pack. Present booster pack. Ooh, ooh! I got a damage swapper of my own here. <laughs> uh, what else did we get in our pack? Bill is always nice to see. Mark my words, game, ba -da -ba -da. I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> Alright, Courtney! Stone statue with an inscription. Ghostmaster Periot. Kindled Flame Duck. Wait, Flame? Should, should I be using my water? <laughs> I, I, I guess. <laughs> you wanna fight? Fight? Really? So he's like a jester kind of guy. It only looks like Courtney from the sprites, as I said that. I'm the Joker, Periot! The challenge me, you must be a Joker as well! Six Press Cards! It's spooky! Woo! <laughs> Alright. Do your best. I, yeah, I don't know if I should be using Water Deck. <laughs> it's powerful enough, and then I'll have type advantage on top of that. Um. But yeah, I said I was going to use my most powerful deck versus these guys, so I, I guess it kind of makes the most sense, you know, you know? Uh, heads... No! It is Tails! So if I was Staryu slap that Growlithe, it would have been a 2KO. I still could kind of do that, I would just go seal and then, you know, seal attack and then switch over to my Staryu, but hey, you know what, I'm just going to do it like this. Hello there, energy <laughs> See, that's, that's another thing, is that it, it, it's very, very fire, like anti-fire my deck is, because of the, all the critters that require energy discards, so that's another thing that just might be a little OP versus him. But, you know, maybe not, because technically you can put energy removal in any deck, I just put him in this one because it's the most fitting for the theme, and oh no, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta get... <laughs> this is, I don't think this is gonna last very long. <laughs> Especially since I'll be doing double damage with pretty much everything. Oh, and he didn't even... And he just had, wow, he doesn't even have fire. I might have to double duel him. Here we go! <laughs> Actually, maybe I should have Professor Oak. I don't know, I'm just all excited here to do, it, do the rematch right away. <laughs> Ooh, that Magmar could actually make a difference. You know that Magmar is the table turner. Um, wait, wait, hold on. What do I want? 
What do I want to use that for? Probably, actually... I, like, maybe I don't want a Professor Oak, because I discard that and that, and... Hmm... Not just Aurora being 100 damage on poor Vulpix over there, the poor little fluffball. Just didn't stand the chance. It's like a, a dam broke and just flooded the whole thing. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't have energy. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're gonna have to do a repeat performance of this performer here. Um, he's not even... he hasn't even been able to do any damage. And you know, if I were to Professor Oak, and I really shouldn't just to be nice to him, but, I, but it'll probably hasten his defeat, chances are if I use Professor Oak I will get some sort of energy removal, which will allow me to wipe out the energy on his Growlithe and prevent me, <laughs> prevent me from taking damage. That is how probabilities work. Because <laughs> yeah, his Growlithe there takes two energy to do its flare, and it's not double colorless, so... Uh-huh. Well, rematch! <laughs> it's just... I, I'm... Sorry, not sorry, I don't know. This is kind of hilarious, actually. Um, uh, Just remember, this is one of the masters of the universe right here, but it's... He's got like a double disadvantage versus my deck, so I'm just gonna click through things really quickly here. And yeah, that's that's what we call a sweep. <laughs> oh, maybe I should maybe I should have Professor Oak just to see what I'd get, but eh, it doesn't matter. Alright, double rematch. <laughs> and present booster. <laughs> That's a booster pack. I'm gonna look back at the footage and laugh at myself while I'm editing. Um, I'm already laughing at myself, so nothing new there. Alright, okie dokie, slow folks. Smell you later! What are you, Gary now? What the holy name of poopin'? Alright, let's go again, period. Kindle flame back! Here we go! Sorry, there is different dialogue. Kindle flame back, of course! <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it make a difference. It may, because fire Pokemon can do a lot of damage, but oh, I don't have anything. Oh, I'll have to shuffle my energy removal back in there. Don't worry, I got five others. <laughs> I'd, I'd max out on all energy removal if I had them, actually. Oh, wait. Oh, he, he might have a chance here. He might have a chance here. Can I go first, though? Ooh, that might not be helpful to him. Uh, I got Dratini. But yeah, I don't have any water this time, but I may. Because, yeah, my deck is like half colorless, half water. More towards the water side, but... Um... I'll go for the lullaby, I suppose. I was thinking of maybe I should prepare for a future Dragonair and just let Jiggly get KO'd, but... Yeah, uh, should be just fine, because that Growlithe is a uh, two-energy attacker, as you just seen, so... Yeah, just keep up the... Oh, there's my water. Just keep up the pressure with the removal, and I guess go for the pound then. He might be able to get 20 off of Jiggly, but I think at this point he's going to realize I should put energy on the Magmar or not. I would say I think that's more of a misplay because he could have did more damage with the Magmar than anything. Oh wait 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 wait! I was, I was thinking of saving the Star You for a trade, but since I'm doing double damage, it might not matter that much because I'll be doing 40 to Fire Critters. So, yeah, it's like, eh. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking the trade the star you because I can get bigger bruisers out of said seal or Dragonair with the energy removal tactics, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good as is. Let's go ahead and pound. And they'll put out the Magmar, I would bet. There's a star me. <laughs> I guess I, could, I didn't trade that away because I could, I could definitely use a star me. It's not as powerful to his deck as the Dugong would be, but still. Definitely something that one can use. Alright, so it locks down, the, well, potentially locks down the Jiggly. Oh, potentially locks down the Jiggly. Uh, yeah, let's just go for the pound. And it gets through, so the smoke screen was all smoke and mirrors. But will he get poison? He doesn't have energy again? Come on, I'm not removing that much energy from him. 
I, I, was, I was totally waiting for him to put another one on the Magmar so I could super energy removal that, but... No! So I'll just go for the Starmie then. And will I get heads? Yes, I will. Wow, it's not, it's not either of these duelists, they... It's not even able to stall with Magmar that well. Now he's down to a sparse 30 HP, which means I could switch into the Starmie and just outright wipe it if I wanted to right now. But I think I'll just continue on and see how the coin flips turn out. Wow! Poor, poor Magmar! Because, yeah, that, if I would switch, it, you know, it would melt that smokescreen effect. And, yeah, I think he sees that the Magmar is on its way out, so he just attached it. Uh, the energy that he got to something else, otherwise it would have been a waste. Uh, that may be a well waste anyway, because he's got another Magmar that I think he would be better off using that on, but... That's, uh... That may be just my opinion. <laughs> okay, I didn't get through that time. <laughs> His luck has turned around. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know, I really feel like I should battle him with a more evenly matched deck to really get a better idea of... I don't know. Uh, maybe later. <laughs> um, so should I just go straight for the Starmie, or should I finish it off with Steel? I'm thinking going with Seal, because he's going to retaliate by attacking back to whatever I have out, so... Uh, yeah, I'll just head buff. <laughs> Why not? I don't want to overuse the energy removal when I don't have to. Like, I could use it on that Growlithe just fine, you know? <laughs> and since I got a Professor Oak from that prize card, that's going to be a uh, very tempting proposition. <laughs> because, like, to, you know, to overuse it. I'm going to actually do it on with the Dratini, because I'll have the seal going into a dugong. I'm gonna actually go... Yeah, I think I'm gonna place Jigglypuff, Lapras on there, and, and then do the Professor Oak. Yeah, I think his deck just is no match for mine, just in general, because of the type advantages, and... He, I have difficulties letting him... I mean, he has difficulties getting off the ground, because I'm not really letting him. <laughs> uh, I guess I could've just regular energy removal, but at the same time, no! Because I, I can use it when he's trying to power up something on his next turn. So that may have seemed like a waste, maybe not. Anyway, I'm gonna just wait it out. As long as I have the turns to power up stuff. Because what I'll be able to do is attach water to Dugong. And we're gonna go... Whoops, why did I go, go all the way to the bottom? Do that, and I have the extra turn back for the Dugong! Yay! Let's evolve that. Let's evolve that. Um... Uh, should I trade for something? Well, I mean, should I wait to trade for something, or should I just Professor Oak? I think I should just Professor Oak. <laughs> it's like, why wait when you could just draw it outright because you're getting low on cards anyway, you know? Oh, I got another Pokemon trader. Um, Is there anything that I want to even trade for? I got a pretty nice arsenal going here. I don't have any, yeah, uh, don't have any energy to attach this turn, so I guess I'll just call it a turn and see how things go. Yeah, okie dokie. And here comes the Dugong Sleep. <laughs> I don't think anything he has out there can survive a Dugong. Well, technically everything survives because it faints, but I mean the stay awake from the Dugong's <laughs> Aurora Beam, so... And he, just, he's, he doesn't even have energy. It's so weird how this is... Yeah. Like Aurora Beam. And even if I had Wigglytuff out there, I'd be doing 50 damage with it, and I'll actually actually do more, because I have the uh, other basics in my hand, so... Okay, there, there you go, you got energy retrieval there. There you go, boy! You, this may be... This may be your turnaround right here. Alright. This may be his game. We shall see. Oh, it's not his game. <laughs> Alternately, you know, I could have switched to something else and just did damage outright, maybe even cause paralysis like if I went to Starmie and did the Star Freeze. Ah, uh, yeah. Foxfire requires two. Huh? Right. I'll see what I get with Bill. Uh, Jiggly. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll just end it. <laughs> just, just put him out of his misery. And victory is mine. Sorry, Pierre. Your deck may be more effective against other decks, but not this particular one. Present. Random cards, here we go. Magneton. Magneton is the rare. I don't know why I'm singing it to the long beats of the song. Alright, see you, Gary. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go challenge. Like, I don't know, maybe Erica? I'm gonna... <laughs> no, not really. It's not Erica. But... No, no, no. <laughs> You'll see who it is soon enough. <laughs>